merchants. One of the most key aspects of this game. And yet, most people don't even know how they work. By most people, I mean most beginners. Obviously, if you're a veteran player, you figure it out over time. But, in this video, I'll be clearing up exactly how they work. And let's just get right into it. There's not going to be any real staging. You just got to pay attention to what I say. And I'll also show some examples. So, to get into it, first of all, we have to look at what the merchant is. So, the merchant is a passive mob, obviously. I don't think a merchant being an, an aggressive mob would be a good thing. Um, and they can only spawn... Well, they can spawn on every single island except the Hell Island. They do not spawn on the Hell Island. This is all based on my knowledge, by the way. So these are Hell Islands. They do not spawn on these. They spawn on every other island um, in the entire game. Uh, I'm pretty sure they still spawn on Poison Islands. And they definitely spawn on Frost Islands. I've seen them before. Um, that's all I really need to know about where they spawn. Uh, although... The easiest way to find one is to find an island like this, the village island, the one with the bridge here, the icy mountains, and the village down here. I am on one of those islands right now, and if you see, if you come from your portal that spawns you in, if you just go straight over to here, if you go across this bridge down to that little market area, there's always a merchant there. Always. Every time you reload the world, a new one will spawn. There's always a merchant here. And this is how I got most of my merchants because they are on the other islands, but they're harder to find. Let's see if he has anything to sell. Not really anything good. All right. So now we got to move into the next aspect of merchants, and that is what they sell and what that depends on, what variables and factors go into that. So what a merchant sells goes into the island level. It is the island level that determines what the merchant will be selling. The merchant level does not matter. The biome does not matter. Stuff like that, they just don't matter at all. It's the island level. So I'm going to come down here and show you the island level of this island, which is where I have my main shop. This island is island level 4. You can see right here it says island level 4. This one, also island level 4. This one's island level 5. This one's island level 6. This one's island level 7. And they all sell different things. It's basically from beginner gear to end game gear throughout the island. That, that's the basic knowledge of it. But that's not really how it goes. Because I still buy most of my end game gear or end game related gear from level 4 islands. Which you'd think I'd buy it from a level 7 island. But all that this the merchant system works off of island level is... The way, same way the chest system works. Now, if you go into a dungeon on a level one island and you open some chests, you know, you're gonna get some like you're gonna get some pretty starter stuff, right? If you go to a level seven dungeon, an island level seven dungeon, and you go into a dungeon, you're gonna get some pretty end game loot, or not really end game, but more just way past it. Like there's so much palladium and stuff that floods the chests in the level 7 dungeons same with how many how much palladium is always being sold by merchants on level 7 islands that's how it works that's the base system that they are based on which i think it's a good system i like it it, it get, really gives you reason to go to other islands now on our level 4 island here as you can see my main shop is on my level 4 island the reason i have it on the level 4 island is level 4 to 5 there's different chances depending on Island level 4 or 5. Island level 4 is the most consistent for me. Island level 4, I have this merchant farm. They sell toxic arrows, poisonous arrows, and decent bows. They also sell some stuff like hot pots and diamonds, stuff like that. But here we have some poisonous arrows. I would always buy these, but not anymore because I have magical quiver. But this would be my main source of poison and toxic arrows. Now, toxic arrows, the reason why I say it doesn't really go from level 1 to level 7, like being beginner and then endgame loot, is because toxic arrows are pretty endgame. Like, you use them in the endgame. They're very, very useful for bow builds and basically for any boss build uh, where you're trying to kill boss as fast as possible for, like, the cheapest cost, right? You don't have to spend lots of hours getting enchants or, you know, certain gear sets or, like, legendary weapons like the um the arabian um, knight or the gunap something like that i have a sword like that 
I'm gonna buy these diamonds actually because I want them. But, and the hot pots. Good, useful things. Um, they also sell board masks, uh, fox masks on this island. If you really want to know every single thing, you should go experiment for yourself. But just know that it does depend on the island level. So if I go to all these merchants here, you'll see I'll get basically the same stuff, you know, the same type of thing. Some palladium because it is island level 4. Uh, we need that diamond ore actually, we're going to take that. Um, I would recommend to buy diamond ore, by the way, just as a thing. But here's some of the bows that I need, or I needed, to um, to refine my killer bow or my Sagittarius bow. Before I actually messed up my Sagittarius bow, I used to buy every single Sagittarius bow I saw to refine it. Now, I don't really have a Sagittarius bow, so I don't do that. I still, I still buy these platinum bows sometimes. Not right now, but there's also some decent weapons in here. But obviously, these are all kind of like... Tier, tier 4 loot, I, I, I recommend you put it into like tiers, be like tier 7, tier 4, you know. Some of tier 7 is always in tier 4, but here we have some toxic arrows, which I will actually be buying. I'll be buying the diamond nuggets as well, and I cannot afford that. <laughs> but this is, this is my main shop on island level 4. Now, if we go to another island, say we go to island level 7 up here. Go to this island level 7, and I will show you the differences in the shops. You remember how there was a lot of diverse um, things that you could buy on the other island. You could buy swords, there were some spears, there were some arrows, there was some food, there were some bows, there were some oars, there were some bars, you know, there were some punching bags, stuff like that. Now here on the level 7 island, I'm pretty sure they did not fix this. You're going to see a heavily based palladium shop, and... Basically, it's just because Palladium is considered an endgame item in like the game's code, so it's because it's an endgame ore. But there's not there's nothing you can do with it, which is really annoying sometimes um, to be sold so many Palladium ingots. But if we go to this merchant here, if we can talk to him, oh, never mind. Hmm. It's still Palladium though, but we get some of the same things from the tier four. We get a lot more endgame food though. Uh, you cannot see this food being sold other things we get adamantite ingots which obviously will not be sold on level four islands um it really varies on let's see if we can damage him and pick him back up because you can also reset that is a key feature as well you can reset their prices if you capture them and put them back on the ground because it counts as like a new merchant at least i'm pretty sure about that Again, this is all based on my own opinion. Yes, you can, you can do that. So it didn't change too much. Still, we got a lot of palladium, a bit of animantite. Obviously, they have no uses. We got a lot of tomato salad. I guess tomato salad is considered end game because it gives you 200 mana. Um, we obviously got the tier three stuff. This is all type of stuff that you can get dropped in dungeons. Um, if we go down to a level three island, actually, I'm gonna bring this merchant with me just to show you guys. It's a very clear distinction from level 1, 2, and 3 to level... Everything beyond that point is kind of... They're pretty similar. Level 4 and level 5 are gold mines for good gear or like useful things like dashboards and different blocks and diamonds and all that stuff. It's a, it's a, real, it's a real good place to have a merchant farm. Um, although, I do have a merchant farm on my actual base, my main base, that sells basically only hot pots because it's a level 7 island. So if we go down to, let's just go to level 2 island, let's see what happens. They also do not spawn on le island level 1. I kind of forgot to mention that, but I'm pretty sure if you played the game before, you know that there is no merchant on the first island. Which doesn't mean that you can't make a merchant farm on there, it just means that they don't spawn relatively on there. Oh, that's the fox farm. Okay, so if we were to place down this merchant... Oh my goodness, that is terrible. That is terrible sounds. You can see lots of different things. That actually, I'm going to buy that. Um, but we got, you know, the broadsword 2, dirk 1, dirk 1, creeper 1, bird feathers, you know, it's actually useful as well. So, it really depends on what you need. Um, and what you want to buy. Obviously, if you want to buy bird feathers, come to the island level 2. 
if you want to buy udon come to level two you know it's it really depends you should really experiment it with yourself but just remember that it does only really depend on island level the merchant level he's a level 94 merchant it does not matter at all what to what he sells um that's basically it that's basically how merchants work uh they breed normally you know there's nothing different about that every single animal does the same thing there um they uh they are passive as i said before and i mean you don't really need to go in depth on their health or anything like that um it also depends on age the hell age so if you are in it depends on island level and age which i should have mentioned earlier but now i will mention it now basically you need to have say for me i get so if i was on island level four and say i was in the industrial age i would not be getting palladium i would not be getting you know i would let's let's, let's find a couple examples here of that stuff i would not be getting if i was not in hell age i would not be getting diamonds I would not be getting hot pots because that's an end game food that is not unlockable yet. I would probably still be getting poisonous arrows. Probably wouldn't be getting uh, spears. Probably wouldn't be getting these. It also depends on the actual age, but it, it's it's more it's more based on the island level than the age. That's why I talk about the island level more in this video than the age because the age is pretty important, but nowhere near as important as the island level. Um. Obviously, it's like it's kind of it, you got you gotta try it out yourself to see what different things are. I don't I don't have an account where it's, that's in the industrial age, so I can't give direct orders onto that. You really have to test out for yourself, as well as like lots of other things in this game. You really just have to test them for yourself. But most likely, you will be somewhere near. If you're watching this video, you're somewhere near the point where you're starting to make merchant farms and stuff. So I'm going to assume that you're like industrial age, hell age type thing. The first thing that most players do is go to the hell age because it's the most direct path of like the game. There's no real story, no real pathway. Uh, the missions are kind of a pathway, but not really. They're more of a tutorial, um, which don't really matter sometimes. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. Uh, but I'm going to assume that you're at Hell Age or that you're at, you know, close to the Hell Age, the age before it, because that would make the most sense for you to be watching this video. Obviously, if you're not, you, you know, I have videos on my channel that you can go help get to Hell Age. But, yeah, I mean, that's basically it. There's lots of things that can be sold in Merchants. It's mainly what can be dropped in chests, though, on the Dungeon Island. Um, again, this is all my own knowledge, right? Uh, I've, I haven't had too much help with the, from external sources. Um... Other than just my combined knowledge of the game so far uh but i have some proof i guess so um i hope you guys have a wonderful day i hope this could help you please let me know if you have any comments in the question or questions in the comments comments in the questions because i will i will answer them i answer every comment that is left down below no matter what even if, unless it's like offensive or something i'm not going to answer but if it's an actual question i will answer the question to the best of my ability no matter what I do it pretty fast, so don't be like, oh, he might not answer, you know. You can also just join the Discord that I will put in the description, and, you know, you'll be able to get um, access straight to me. You could just add me in the Discord, and then I can help you. We have questions and answers um, chat on the Discord as well, where you could just ask a question, someone will answer you. Probably me will be answering, but, you know. Uh, so I hope this got, could help you guys out, like, big time. I mean, it's really useful to learn for Endgame considering how much stuff you need to get um stuff like the dashboards and the diamonds and um things like that you know you, you'd rather buy them especially if you have a money farm already which i should go in depth about uh in one of my next videos because i mean it is really important to have a good money farm um and yeah uh let me know also if you want to see anything else explained like any questions at all can be asked in the comments they don't have to be related to this video um but you could recommend a series like um something else that you want to know how it works say you want to know how dungeon spawning works or you want to know how you know the world generation works well, not world generation but i mean like on the actual map in the on the altar of transportation you know stuff like that stuff that i'm actually able to answer first of all um because some things i literally cannot answer because i'm not a dev of the game um but yeah, I'd love to help you guys out and I'd love to share my knowledge. I'm just making this video as a base understanding for anybody that, you know, wouldn't understand originally. But uh, yeah, hope you guys have a wonderful day and see you in the next one.